Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is a collaboration with um, a group of people who just love pink. Use the hashtag enjoy pink with us to find others that are involved with this collaboration challenge. And it is hosted by Annie Creates, by Mimi with Love, Hey Little Missy, and Melody May. So Enjoy Pink with us actually is just for creators to use pink in whatever. And of course, most of my um, Enjoy Pink with us is going to be to deal with beads, but others will probably make paper crafts or just whatever. Today though, I'm going to introduce you to some of the beads I have. I've actually am going through my craft room and I want to go through each of the color of my beads and I figured this would be perfect for Enjoy Pink with us. So these bead chips here I got um, several years ago when my mom and my sister and I had gone to Puerto Rico on a cruise and if I remember correctly these were supposed to be rose quartz and I question if they're rose quartz or not I actually really think they're just pink um, glass chips. They may be a rose quartz. I don't know. But they are pretty. And they're kind of a ballet pink. These next beads I have are kind of little bugle seed beads. And I have them with all of my pink beads. But I think I need to put them in with my seed beads. These next beads are just some uh, glass pink beads. And I don't think I have any more like this. Probably need to tie, tie these better so they don't all fall off the strand. Aren't those pretty? These next beads are just some hot pink glass beads. I believe that one's probably made from a shell. The rest of these are just glass. These next beads are some rose quartz. You could just put them on a chain, just string them up like that. I have quite a few rose quartz in my pink stash, all different sizes, including these. These are a very pale pink. And then I have these. This one looks like it's cracked a little bit. I probably, if I use that, I'd probably put like a, a bead cap to hide that. Let's see, here's some more rose quartz. These are more of a frosted rose quartz. Again, they're very pale. Here's some more of the frosted rose quartz, a little bit smaller in size. I believe these are probably a six millimeter. Most of the rose quartz I got from Bargain Bead Box. And then we have these rose quartz. I don't know why they always put pink, uh, put the rose quartz onto um, pink string, <laughs> but they seem to always do that no matter where I go. And here's some more rose quartz.
Let's see if we got any more rose quartz. I think that may be it. I've got these really pretty pink glass beads, all different sizes. Look at this really pretty sparkly heart. It's a big whole bead. And here's another big whole bead. Ooh, these are pretty. A crackle glass. And I think I only have one more of these left. These are really pretty. A bubblegum pink glass bead. And here's a pretty lamp work bead. I'll stick that in there with my various different beads. And these are kind of a peachy pink color. They're just uh, connectors. They're made to look like shells, but I think they're actually um, acrylic. And then we have these freshwater pearls, which I'm actually going to put these with my freshwater pearl stash. Aren't these fun? These next beads are made out of a shell. And these are really pretty. I like stuff like this. These next beads kind of remind me of a bubble gum. <laughs> they are kind of a funky color. And I remember using them oh, several years ago when my son got married. I made um, a bunch of necklaces for all the attendants for the bridesmaids and the maid of honor and all. And uh, I didn't finish this one. Uh, the person that this was supposed to go to actually wasn't able to come. So I abandoned the project. But this is what I use these for. And I love the color. And I also have some shell chips in here. I need to put these in a separate bag. And then we got some pink Hishu beads. I really like Hishu beads. And this color is really pretty. These next beads, they look more purple than pink. So I think I'm going to just put them in with my purple beads. Because they definitely are more of a lavender than a pink. And I think they're just acrylic beads. These next beads are what they call a peach coral glass bead. And I actually have a stash of coral colored, I mean peach colored beads. So these are going to be taken out of the pink, pink stash and put where the peach beads are. These next beads are rhodochrosite. Aren't they pretty? They're kind of um, pinky color rose, a little bit of a uh, beigey, pinky. These are one of my favorite um, stones. And look at these pretty things. These are some agates. Love the color. This is more of a fuchsia, a purpley pink. But I'll keep it in my pink stash. And then I have these really pretty pink glass beads, different shapes. We kind of have like a little tube and ovals and circles. Look at these beautiful beads. Have little pink flowers on them. And you can see the little greenery around them. I have just enough to probably make a really pretty pair of earrings. Look at these. I always have liked these. I love the way the light bounces off of them. They have kind of reds and pinks and purples in them. I think they're mostly a pink, and that's why I have them in with my pink stash. Aren't they pretty? A lot of fire to them. And some more uh, glass chips, or they may be quartz. I don't know. I think they're glass. They have some AB sheen to them. I don't really know what these are, to be honest with you, but they are pretty. But I think they're more of a peachy color. So I'm going to put them in with the peach beads. Some more hot pink glass beads. 
And here's a, I believe this is a bracelet, but it's kind of heavy for the stretch. And my thought probably was, I don't know where I got these, is just to take them off the stretch and make something else out of them. But aren't they pretty? It is a natural stone. And I love the rosy color of this. Found some more rose quartz. Look at all these really pretty different glass beads. We got a little few little chips. I see uh, some rose quartz in there. That is a bead soup right there. Soup of different ingredients. Here's some agate. And here's some more agate. Those are really pretty. These are more of a fuchsia. And these are more of a, a reddish pink. And we have some very small glass bubblegum colored beads here. And these, I believe, are acrylic. Um, the way you can tell between glass and acrylic is just the way they feel. These are very, very light. And glass would be cold to the touch, as would um, like a real stone. So I think... These, don't, these are not cold, and they're very lightweight, so that's why I'm thinking they're acrylic. But they are still pretty. I really like these. They have little dots on them. Now, these are little square seed beads. I'm probably going to put them in with my seed bead stash, but aren't they fun? They have like a little tube in the middle that's pink. And then I have another... Let's see. These are these are the same thing except for they're they're pinker. Let's see if I can show you the difference here. See one of them has a little bit of a clearness to it with the pink in the middle, and this is pink and pink. These are a cherry quartz, and I've got these cherry quartz and these are cherry quartz they're more these are faceted and a cherry quartz from what I understand is man-made and I believe these are cherry quartz they are more of a brushed see how these are shiny these are more brushed and these are cherry quartz. So I have quite a bit of cherry quartz. And these, these all came from um, Bargain Bead Box. By the way, I've got my granddaughter here. So every once in a while you may hear a little ch chitter chatter. And that's what that is. <laughs> my granddaughter. But these are really pretty. I do love the cherry quartz. Now here's some more glass beads that I have. These are really fun. They've got some blue and pink to them. I only have three of those beads left, but then I have all these kind of a corally pink glass beads. And there you have it, my pink stash of beads that I'll be creating things with for Enjoy Pink with us. So stay tuned for that. And I encourage you to go check out all the other people who are involved with this collaboration. Go check them out by using the hashtag EnjoyPinkWithUs. And I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.